Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engine Hall. Today, we're going to take a look at a new release from Walters. We were supposed to spec these in the summertime, but they came a little bit early. Let's take a look what we got here. We have the Walters Mainline Greenville 7000 cubic feet wood chip hopper. All right, so I got CSX. Oops. Seaboard coastline. Southern, another Southern car, and a uh, no folk Southern. So I have uh, five numbers here. You got different road names and road numbers that come in the run. Some does have the prototype pictures of the prototype, and of course you're gonna compare the model to the prototype on this channel. So let's unbox this uh, family line system here. So we got the clamshell style here, hard clear, soft clear wrapping the model with a white hard backing. Unwrap it here, and here we go. Here's the car. Take a close up at the details on this Walther's uh, mainline car here. So let's get into unboxing all of them and see how they compare to the prototype.
compared the model to the prototype. Now you can take a look at here, this uh, AAR type is a K247 uh, plate F and it used to be a SBD 435, like 433518 back in 2017. Looking at the prototype, let's compare it to the model. Then we see if I had non-rung ladder here with the correct stirrup, which is good. You got a stick here. That's on the car. You have your lines of information, and you have a pull tab here, which is on the car. Then you have your, you skip a panel, and you have information here. This is faded, but it is on the model. Now uh, here's your blue board information. Then you have your information here that's on your doors. Looks uh, pretty good there. Then you got your uh, CSX written here. Coming across, you have your 20 panel car. Looking here at the other end, you have your row name, row number, plate F, row name, row number, skip a panel. It's right here, the plate F is a good uh, location. And you come down two lines of information and that one line there, which is uh, faded with a, a pull tab, which is here on the car. And these are called these vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal grab irons is two with the correct stirrup on the car. Looking on top. Of the car, I assume you got a nice little view of it. We have a bulkhead right in the middle. Then we have vertical and horizontal structures in the car. So you have one, two, three, horizontal, one, two, three, and two verticals there on the car. So this model represent the prototype uh, very well. We got the road name and roll number uh, looked up here. I look at some of the information here on the car. Oh, that I see that. The AR typers are different. This is a K347. The CSX one is a K247. So it's a, a little, little bit difference uh, in car, but we'll see what the difference is to open up this uh, prototype here. Let's see. Okay, we see that the bracing here on the car is a little bit different, but you still have your uh, non-rung uh, ladder here. You got your stirrup there. You got your uh, pull tab. Should be more the further forward, but it's in the uh, middle of the car. That's, a, that's the dip, one of the differences there. But stencil wise, you got your uh, four lines of information. Then you got that one by itself. The HS50 is a little bit large. Lube board information. Uh, appears this information should be under the lube board in the same paneling, but you see the difference here. Let's so do we got the 20 panels going across the car and on the doors. There's no information here on the doors. Swing a little bit closer. Then you got your um, NS logo here and you got your road name and a road number. Road name, road number. Let's say panel over. You got the uh, plate F here. Then you got the load wood chips only. As it is for a prototype, two lines of information here. And you got a little line of information on the bottom. Looks uh, if you're in the correct location. Then you still have your pull tab on the uh, prototype, which is here, but on the model, which is here. So it's a little bit of uh, difference since here on the cars, but um, mostly it's a K247 AAR type. It's a K37 AAR type. Still a good looking car. Pull up a different car where some things are uh, similar. Another picture really couldn't see on the other end of the car, but this one you can. You can take a look at how the uh, NS here is here on the model. Uh, appears to be uh, accurate. Now, in this SAU is the same uh, NS, and you can see where you have the information here on the car, which is just on the car that the prototype has a four rung ladder, but the model have two vertical grab behind stair and uh, some of the state appliances are a little bit different but pretty much is the same car pretty good representation of um the car i don't have a, a road name a road number for this particular car but I have something close then you can see this picture took him back in uh, 2010. you know you see how the writing here on the corner you got the fame lines in the middle with that big logo then you got the uh, wood chip service here yeah, of course, you got road name, road number, and you got your lines of information on the car. And you see, I got this uh, circle for the uh, play F as it is. Uh
on a model. So for this stenciling, I think this one represents a, a little bit uh, better. Well, here we have it. We have the new release, Walter's Main Line, Greenville's 7,000 cubic feet wood chip hopper. Now, these are backed by popular demand. The prototypes and served from 1970 to the present day, designed especially for moving wood chip from sawmill to the paper mill. We got prototypical interior bracing. They got authentic door latch detail, detail brake gear, a heavy die cast metal underframe with a 100 ton correct 36 turn metal RP25 wheels with Protomax metal couplers. Now, comparing this to the prototype, now you know these car bodies are the K247, but the road name and certain road numbers, sorry, road name and road numbers to certain railroads are k347 so it's a little different from the k37 and the k347 uh, um we saw that there from when we compared the model to the prototype but these cars are very nice and if you like to pick these up you can snag these up at a uh, yankee dabblers go to yankeedabblers.com and uh, msrp M msrp price is 39.98 but you can get a yankee dabbler at 33.98 Plus, you know, you throw that little code in there and uh, get you some of these uh, cards here running your railroads uh, today.